So when we equate these two functions, x minus x square equals mx, take x as a common factor, 1 minus x is mx, 1 minus x is m, so rearrange x is 1 minus m. So that's the x coordinate. To find the y coordinate, replace x here by 1 minus m. So y coordinates will be m times 1 minus m. So the point P is basically the x coordinate, comma, the y coordinate. If you want, you can open the bracket also, m minus m square. So that's the answer for part A. So in part B here, they want you to find the area R1. R1 is bounded by this curve on the statement. So if you go to the chapter integration and look for area between curves and straight lines, there is a formula, a rule to find this area. The rule is simple. You need to find the x coordinates of the points. This is 0, this is 1 minus m. So integral 0 to 1 minus m. The function on top, if you look at the region, the function on top minus the function at the bottom. So function on top is this, minus the function at the bottom is mx, dx. That's the rule. The rule is integral f of x minus g of x dx. Now we integrate this and substitute the limits. It's x square over 2 minus x cube over 3 minus mx square over 2. Limit 0 to 1 minus 1 minus m. So 1 minus m whole square by 2. 1 minus m whole cube by 3. m times 1 minus m whole square by 2. When you substitute upper limit, everything will be 0. Now, actually, they want you to prove the area R1 is 1 minus m whole cube over 6. So, we have this. This is supposed to be 3, not m. Now, we need to carefully simplify this. So, I'm going to take 6 as a common factor here, common denominator here. Multiply this by 3. So, 3 times 1 minus m whole square minus 2 times 1 minus m whole cube minus 3m times 1 minus m whole square. I'm going to take 1 minus m whole square as a common factor. The denominator stays the same. Here I will have 3 minus 2 times, if I take square out, I'll be left with power 1 minus 3m. Simplify this. We'll have 3 minus 2 is 1 plus 2m minus 3m is minus m. So you'll have 1 minus m here if you simplify. 1 minus m whole square times 1 minus m is 1 minus m whole cube over 6. That's the area of part 1. So in part C here, it's given area of R1 is R2 equal to R2. They want you to find the value of m. We know R1 already. Let's find R2. If you look at this region, if you draw a line here, this is 1 minus m, the x coordinate here. So you need to find the area of this triangle plus this little area. That's R2. So R2 will be, or maybe you'll write R1 here, 1 minus m whole cube over 6 equals, R2 will be area of this triangle. How do you find the triangle? Base is 1 minus m, and the height, this height. How do we find the height? The y coordinate of this point. So half base times height. Height is this or you can write it as m times 1 minus m plus. How do we find this area? Integral this point to 1, integrate the function. So integral 1 minus 
1 minus m to 1, the curve x minus x square dx. Now integrate this and find a way to simplify it. So it is equal to m times 1 minus m whole square over 2 plus when you integrate this x square by 2 minus x cubed by 3 limit this. Now substitute the upper limit 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 which is 1 over 6 when you simplify. 1 minus m whole square by 2 plus when you substitute upper limit, half minus 1 over 3, put it in your calculator, you'll get 3 minus 2, 1 over 6 minus. When you put lower limit, 1 minus m whole square by 2 minus 1 minus m whole cube by 3. And our left hand side is this. We need to carefully simplify this to find m. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to divide everything by 1 minus m whole square. So I'll have 1 minus m by 6 because when you divide by square, you will have power 1 here. Here just m divided by 2 plus 1 over 6, 1 minus m whole square minus 1 over 2 because this square will be gone when you divide by that term plus 1 minus m over 3 because it's cube here. Now we need to carefully simplify this. I'm going to multiply everything by 6. 1 minus m equals 3m here. Here 1 over this minus 6 by 2 is 3. Here 2 times 1 minus m. We need to find the value of m now. I'm going to put this term, this term, this term here and simplify. Let's see what I get. I'll get 1 minus m minus 3m plus 3 minus 2 plus 2m is 1 over 1 minus m whole square. So you'll have 4 minus 2 is 2. 2m minus 2m is minus 2m equals 1 over this. You can take 2 out. I'm going to continue here. Now we have this equation. If you take 2 as a common factor out, you will have 2 times 1 minus m is 1 over 1 minus m whole square. Bring it here. Bring the 2 here. 1 minus m whole cube is 1 over 2. Take cube root both sides. 1 over cube root of 2. Because cube root of 1 is the same. So m is 1 minus 1 over cube root of 2. That's the value of m. Actually this question carries only 3 marks and I'm wondering why they have given only 3 marks for this question because it's worth like so much of working you should be given minimum of 5 marks here. But if you know any easier method to solve this leave it in the comment below please. So m value is this.